Hello everybody, John Fulford here. How are you? I hope you've been well. This video is about the ASCAP Expo. This isn't a pros and cons of the Expo. Ooh, I could talk for a while about that. This is a video about how to make the most out of your Expo experience. So I'm gonna share some, uh, share some tips and tricks from all of my conference experiences. I first went to a music conference in 2003 when my mom flew me to Los Angeles, thanks mom, to go to the, the now defunct Billboard Hollywood Reporter Film and TV Music Conference, which is in the same venue, it's basically the same setup as the ASCAP Expo at Hollywood and Highland. So for, for those of you that haven't been to the Expo or don't know what the Expo is, it's a music conference. Okay, they have panels, they have gear demonstrations, you know, they have workshops and the like. One thing that surprised me about the 2018 ASCAP Expo is that there's no music supervisors on any of the panels that I've seen, which could be a good or a bad thing, okay? Um, I think it's kind of cool because, you know, it. I've seen dozens of music supervision panels, but you may not have seen any. So it might be a con or a bad thing for you, but it's a good thing for me personally. Also, I think it's good because the one thing that will always put you in favor with music supervisors is making great music. So the more panels you go to to learn how to make great music, the better you'll do with the music supervisors. You get what I'm saying? So watching a music supervision panel isn't gonna do you any justice if your music isn't up to par, okay? So here's a, a couple tips and tricks on how to make your ASCAP Expo, um, you know, make the most out of your ASCAP Expo. The first thing I would say is don't focus so much on the panelists, focus more on the people to your right, to your right and to your left, your co-attendees, okay? At many panels, I see the panel ends and everyone rushes the stage to hand the panelists, you know, their CD or their business card or their USB drive nowadays. But you know, you might be sitting next to a great singer the whole time you don't even know. Right, so if you do great music and you're looking for singers, try to find some singers. Try to find people that will complement your weaknesses and where your strengths will comp uh, will um, complement their weaknesses. Okay, and it's a lot easier to talk to your co-attendees. Hey, where are you from? Oh, cool. Than to try to rush the stage to get the attention of some of some panelists. Now, hear the airplane. So that's that's you know probably the most important tip. Okay, second thing is listen and learn, take notes, okay? You wanna take notes. If the panelists mention a specific artist or a specific thing they're working on, take notes, you wanna be up on that, okay? That, that, that makes you see kinda of in the future or six months later it's out in the news that this artist is with this label, woo woo woo, you might have advanced knowledge of it. Okay, so take notes, listen. My thing, you know, you might not wanna sit through every panel every day, but the ones you do sit through, listen and take notes. I'd rather go to, you know, two panels a day and just be really focused rather than go to every panel and be scatterbrained, you're hungry, ooh, where's the water, you know, where's the, where's the uh, coffee and tea thing? The ones you go to really focus, but don't feel like you have to go to every one of them, okay? Third thing, kind of expect panelists not to show up and things to go wrong, okay? I remember at the ASCAP Expo, a big keynote speaker was supposed to speak. You walk in and it's a TV screen, he's on Skype, okay? I was at a panel in Europe, two, two years in a row, the second year I didn't go. The, the big keynote speaker, oh, the big keynote didn't show up, okay? The, the year I went, 2016, they didn't show up. They didn't even notify anybody. We were walking into the thing and I was like, oh, it's canceled. Then the next year, they even said, this person will not cancel and the person canceled. Okay, that happens. We could do a whole other video on that and yada, 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 but just know it happened. So be flexible, have a backup plan. Even if that backup plan is to relax for an hour and go to Starbucks, just have a backup plan in case your favorite panelist doesn't show up. Okay, there's one instance where I wanted to talk to this specific panelist at a conference, and I got a hotel room at the hotel because I, I, I wanted to be there for the panel. 
We get to the thing, guess what? Panelists, for whatever reason, scheduling conflict, misunderstanding, wasn't there. So they said the panelists will be here to meet with people at 8.30 in the morning tomorrow morning. Well, guess what? If I didn't get that hotel room, I'd have to leave at least, at least 90 minutes early from the animal shelter. I'd have to leave at 7 a.m. to hopefully get there by 8.30. But I had a room. So, all right, all right, cool. I went to bed, I woke up, you know, at 8, 10, you know, and I got there and I, and I talked to the person I needed to talk to. Nothing came to fruition from that situation yet, and it was 2016, but you gotta be flexible, okay? You gotta be flexible. Another tip, it's very important, have fun, have a good time. This is about music, all right? It's about, it's about having fun, it's about uh, growing as an artist and as a writer and as a person, okay? I was at, sitting at the expo one year when this one, there was like this, these two people talking and this one guy just got super aggressive and was like super angry at the other guy. They were, they were beefing over, not even, like, they were just talking about rappers. And, and one guy got really upset because the other guy like mentioned that the one guy's favorite rapper wasn't his, his favorite rapper. And me and everybody around are like, like that's, that, like that's not what it's about. I was there, I witnessed the whole thing. It wasn't like they were, like, like the one guy was antagonizing the other guy. There's a one guy that just got super angry. Just, you're here to have fun. You're here to have fun. Last tip, find your ASCAP rep, people. Find five ASCAP reps, write their names down, write their emails down. Okay, because if you have a problem, monetary problem that you need ASCAP's help with, it's like Murphy's Law. One's gonna be on vacation, the other one's gonna be at Sundance, the other rep is gonna be super busy, okay? Now, I'm not saying people can't take vacations, I'm just saying you gotta have four or five reps to go to. You gotta have the rep that you, you talk to twice a year, like the big, high up, you know, that you just email twice a year, hey, how you doing, here's my new thing. You gotta know the, the super young, go-getter ASCAP rep that you can email with all your little nitpicky problems. Hey, is this channel survey or is this channel census? Those things, and you gotta have some mid-level people. People that could call some shots, you might email them four times a year. Okay, you gotta have that whole, you gotta have a whole like uh, timeline of ASCAP reps. The, the new cats, the seasoned cats. You know, for instance, I saw Paul Williams on a plane one time. He was sitting behind me the whole time. Plane lands, I get up, I go, oh my God, it's Paul Williams from ASCAP. Do you think I, I talk to him about royalties? No, I say, hey, I'm an ASCAP writer, you know, keep doing good work, you know, I love, you know, he wrote that Kermit the Frog hit song. I said, hey, I love that song. Shook hands. I'm not going to talk to Paul Williams about whether this theme song I had was caught in the survey. You, you know what I mean? So there you go. I hope that helps. Will I be walking around the ASCAP Expo? Maybe. I might be walking around. If you see me, say hello. Have a great time. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comments section below. Email me, musiclicensingpodcast at gmail.com. I hope to see you soon. Send me some music. Let me hear it. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you next time.